praise Lord Jesus. We thank you. We give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Dependable God, we are grateful. Patient of days, we are grateful for answer to our prayers. We are grateful for change of story. We are grateful for new open doors, for new dimensions of breakthroughs, of favors. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Today, whatever looks like a long age problem in your family will fade away. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. God gave those two sisters unique testimonies. <laughs> you may not understand. I tell you, you may not understand. Whatever you were expecting for your family, the doors will open for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. Anyone that has been fighting your family blessing from taking place, the vengeance of the God of Jericho will land on them today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. You will not know sorrow concerning your family this year. Amen. Your family will experience amazing supply of blessings. Amen. Make that amen louder. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. He says to all, congratulations. Amen and amen. God bless you. Put those hands together for the Lord and be seated. Engaging your faith for your family new dawn. How many wants to see new dawn for their family? Praise God. What you desire, you will see it come to pass. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The part of the jaws is like a shining light that shines brighter unto a perfect day. The part of every family is like a shining light. So you must expect new dawn for your family. You must expect new dimensions of progress. You must expect new dimensions of success. You must expect new open doors taking place for your family. As far as you are in that family, hear me and hear me where, if progress is not taking place, it will be a concern. No? I'm telling you, it will be a concern. Even if you are the only one that is bringing money, it will be a concern. No? Do you know why? <laughs> I like one, one for near age one of my masters gave. He said, bring meat, bring meat. Nanama bodio. Who understands what I just said now? <laughs> That's why you must pray everyone into progress. Did you hear what I said? You must pray them into progress. You must fight for change to take place for your family. If it is possible with God, then it is possible for your family. It's only if it is not possible with God.
Whatever is possible with God is possible for your family. For this is a people robbed and spoiled. And all of them snared in whole. And none say it restore. But hear me. If you love your family, you will cry out restore. Zechariah chapter 1, we read that scripture. I love that scripture. I, I love it very, very well. Because it's very crucial to any breakthrough you desire for your family. From verse 17. Cry yet saying, Thou said the Lord, My city through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. And shall yet choose Jerusalem. Verse 18. Then lifted I up my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judea, Israel, and Jerusalem. The next verse, and the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come these to do? And he spake saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah so that no man did lift up his head. But these have come to free them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles which lifted up their horns over the land of Judea to scatter it. Your family's head will be lifted. Yeah. Everyone in your family, they will lift up their head. Yeah. Now, you see the clear picture? Judea, Israel, Jerusalem. Let's take it, this family, this family, this family. Nobody should lift up his head. An embargo has been placed on them. Embargoes can be placed on family, financially, maritally, career-wise. And that's why, if you, if you can understand what I'm saying, if you look at some families, nobody is even making any progress. That does not mean that that's their lot in life or in destiny. It is scriptural. So you must fight for your family's head to be lifted. And you must engage faith because faith is a never failing weapon. Wherever faith goes, God goes. If you can believe it, then you must see it. If you can see it, then you must declare it. In this new dawn era, it is your choice to rewrite your family history. It is your choice to rewrite your family history. If you don't rewrite history, you will repeat history. But I thank God for the word of God. It's like a spiritual missile. As you release it, it must go for something. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. That sister prayed for her elder sister. Lord, something must happen concerning her. Lord, you must visit her. Whatever force has kept her in that state, Lord, change her story. 
And God said, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. Did God do it? Some people will have concluded, oh, her time don't pass. God dwells in eternity. He does not dwell in time. God dwells in where? Eternity. Time for God is for record purpose. God does not dwell in time. He dwells in eternity. Maybe somebody was angry with her and vowed that uh, you, I will deal with you. Anyone that has vowed for any of your family members that they will deal with the person, hear me, the arrow will go back today. That's why I am here with a koboko for every household wickedness. This night is koboko for every household wickedness. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I like your other testimony too. Now hear me. It's not normal for a woman to say he is not ovulating. You may call it hormonal imbalance. It's a lie. It's a witchcraft attack. How can hormone be imbalanced for one whole year? Two years? Three years, four years, five years. You are a liar. So whoever is shooting arrow for your family, get ready. Today they will harvest arrows. I say it with conviction. Today they will harvest arrows. It is time for everyone caged in your family to go. I say it is time for them to be released. It is time for them to break through. It is time for them to begin to enjoy favor. It is time for them to begin to go forward. I remember my FMC chairman when I was in Benin. Very friendly man. He came and said, he saw a dream that he didn't like. So I said, what's the dream? He said, he saw one of his legs tied with rope. Not uh, thread, though. Rope is different from thread. You know what is rope? His leg was tied. I've to I told him that uh, you have been limited from going forward. Look at the mystery. You see how God works? I washed his feet, and his son visited his elder brother's house. Funny enough, they now sent the boy to go and uh, bring something in the bedroom room and saw where they pin his father's picture. <laughs> he said, God forbid. They pin his father's picture. So he saw the picture. That's not a normal uh, uh, this thing. He just removed the picture. He removed the picture like today. The following day, the woman busted. You took something. Who took something from this house? What is it you are looking for? Call the name. She couldn't call the name. She couldn't call the name. And thank God for the young man. He just told them that the school will soon open. I want to go back. He just went back and showed the father the picture. The father said, see that prayer you prayed. See the results. I don't know who is a household wickedness that is tying you. Today, they will lose you by fire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. All of a sudden, from all the places where they were giving him jobs, it's like the thing jam. But scripture said, thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. Any man or woman shooting arrow for your family gates to be shot. Vengeance will land on their head. Scripture says he has the key of David in his hand. Now, I want you to hear this in case you forget anything in this message. Jesus cannot use the key against you. Can Jesus use the key against me? 
Jesus cannot use the key against me. No matter who is angry with me. No matter who doesn't like my face. How do I know? Isaiah 49, let's read it. From verse 24. Can you use your own key against your son? No, tell me. Isaiah 49 from verse 24. Shall the prayer be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive deliver? Verse 25. But thou sayest the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be what? Deliver. For I will contend with him that contended with thee. And I will save thy children. Pause there. Even the prey of the terrible Meaning, even if you intentionally did it, he said, I will free you. Even if the law is against you, he said, I will free you. Even if you committed the crime and the facts are obvious, he said, I will still free you. Even the prey of the terrible. What does it mean to be a lawful captive? Which means you committed the crime and the facts are obvious. So you are due for a sentence. <laughs> he said, I will free you. And that's why he said, I will contend with him that contended with thee. Whatever is contending with your family new dawn this year. Hear me and hear me well, they will go down today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That's why you must believe the authority of faith. Faith manifests the authority of the word of God. Faith manifests the authority of the word of God. I say to one, go and they go. And to another, come and they come. You can't declare go and God not back up. Hear me? You can watch every member of your family experience a turnaround. I say you can. I say you can. I say you can. Whatever power stagnation over your family will break today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So we must engage faith in confidence. If your family have not suffered enough, please don't pray. If you are enjoying the suffering your family is going through, please don't pray. But if you delight to see them have testimony, record change of story, experience breakthrough in every area, you are the one I'm talking about. And I believe God with you that beginning from this January, doors will be opening in different places. If you are saying amen, say better amen. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Even in your family, is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard for God? Now I know. Don't tell me that I don't know. I know. There are household wickedness. Which we call sponsors of evil. It didn't start today. Household wickedness started. Since... From Eve to Lot, from Lot to Esau, from Esau to the brothers of Jacob. It has been manifesting. Miriam was a household wickedness, an enemy of Moses. The brothers of Samson, they are the ones that push him, set him up for that trap. Oh, you don't know? Go and read history very well. Even in America, it's happening till today. If you are doing well as a minister, be, be careful. 
Because they will set trap for you. So that you will fall. So that they will say, Shall we said it? Shall we said it? I remember Apostle Suleiman went to minister somewhere. After he finished ministering, then I asked him that, uh, Will you need blankets to sleep? So he said, Yes, I will need blankets. He didn't know the meaning of blanket. <laughs> he didn't know the meaning of blanket. So he said, okay, we'll get you a very good blanket. So he thought it was a, this quail and duvet. They now went to arrange one jersey bear. And when the jersey bear appeared, they said, this is your blanket. So you know what he did? He just collected his phone, collected his, um, his thing, behaved as if he was going to the restaurant to go and eat. He disappeared from the hotel. He didn't even carry his briefcase. He left. So when the host called him, where are you now? He said, if you call this line again, God punish your father. <laughs> <laughs> That was how he left America without even seeing his host. They would have used blankets to cover his destiny. Household wickedness. is everywhere. But hear me, every operation of household wickedness against you will not survive 2018. Please, as I'm saying, it be echoing a violent amen. If you must engage faith for your family breakthrough, you must apply the element called violence. No family breaks through gently. No family breaks through with dialogue. Every family breaks through on the platform of violence. What is the meaning of violence? Enough is enough. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. I first learned violence from my elder sister's friend. The father was a gentle, peace-loving man in the village. And they were proposing him to be the next chief because of his straight forwardness in his approach and his dealing. So they arranged him and killed him. So immediately they arranged him and killed the man. She said, okay, let me go and pray to my God. So she relocated to the village. One man riot squad. A girl, she was not yet married that time. Our sisters these days, they know if you pray, self. That much more fasting. Some of them don't even fast. So she went to the village. Oh God, arise for me. Your vengeance must answer. Whoever is behind these deaths, Lord, visit them. I refuse to quit this prayer until you show up. Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. The alarm blow. The first one, bagger. In fact, they were doing burial almost every, every day. The first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one. The other say, I beg, forgive. It's already late. He also went. Any sponsor of evil in your family, hear me and hear me well, vengeance will catch up with them. If the wicked not be taught judgment, they will not learn righteousness. And scripture said again, since a sentence against an evil work is not judged, he said the heart of men is set again to do more wickedly. More. The heart 
hearts of men is set again in them to do more wickedly. That's why when they do what they say, it's like the one we did didn't touch him. Okay, we'll do him another one. Any person that planned you for 2018, mark my word, I say it from this altar, vengeance will catch up with them. That is why you must learn how to shoot word. You must learn how to fire arrow. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which you adversely will not be able to resist nor gain say. Anyone tampering with my family glory, your time is up. Any strong man that vowed that no head will be lifted in my family, your time is up. I invoke the vengeance of God upon you. Sponsors of wickedness against my family, I invoke the vengeance of God upon you. You must go violent. You vow for me, I vow for you. One vow must catch each other. But my own must catch. I say my own must catch. Because I'm in a superior platform. Scripture says we are seated with Christ Jesus. Far above principalities and powers. So my platform is not accessible. But I can assess your own. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You must stand for your family to break through. You don't sit comfortable and they will be calling you. You, now be, you, you. you are now headmaster. No. They must break through. I said they must break through. I said they must break through. If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? <laughs> now let me summarize with this as we rise up to pray. Numbers 23. Your brothers will buy new cars this year. Your brothers, they will build new houses this year. Anyone that has not been doing well will begin to do well this year. Any power that sponsored closed door against them, doors will begin to open for them. If you are saying amen, it is coming to pass for your family. Make that amen louder. Now, studio, we are going to read this scripture very quickly. Numbers 23. Take it from verse 1. Very fast. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by the bond offering, and I will go peradventure. The Lord will come to meet me. And whatsoever he showed me, I will tell thee. And he went to an high place. And God met Balaam and said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab, wicked people. And he took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, have brought me from Aram out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? And how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defy. The next verse, for from the top of the rock I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, and the number of the fourth parts of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my last end be like his. And Balak said, Unto Balaam, what hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse my enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord has put in my mouth? And Balaam said unto him, Balak said unto him, Come, I pray thee, since you are not seeing where, come and see it from this angle. 
with me unto another place. From whence thou mayest see them, thou shalt see but the utmost part of them, and shall not see them all, and cause me them from thence. And he brought him into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered bullock and the ram on every, every altar. Verse 15, And he said unto Balak, Stand here, by thy burnt offering, while I meet the Lord yonder again. And the Lord met Balaam, and put a word in his mouth, and said, Go again unto Balak, and said us, and when he came to him, behold, he stood by his bond offering and the princes of Moab with him. Household wickedness. And Balak said unto him, What has the Lord spoken? He was expecting the other thing. And he took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear, hearken unto me, thou sons of Zippor. Another tribal. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he not said it? Shall he not do it? Has he not spoken? Shall he not make it good? Look at the next verse now. Behold, I have received the commandment to bless. He has blessed. I cannot reverse it. He had not beheld iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. Go to the next verse now. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Verse 23 now. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what has God wrought? Hear this. Any man or woman consulting authors, consulting native doctors, consulting witchcraft covens against your family, their altar will catch fire. I know what household wickedness they do. They convince people to agree with them to fight you. They convince people to agree with them to curse you. But look at what the Lord said. I have not beheld iniquity in the person you are talking about. Whoever is sponsoring authors against your family, vengeance will answer against them today. There is no enchantment against Jacob. No weapon from this year. Against your family will prosper. Yeah. You are not saying amen like a believer. Yeah. That's why you are going to lift up a standard in this prayer. Whatever weapon that has been formed to disfigure things, to make sure that things don't work well, to make sure that your family beg, to make sure that they remain in reproach, that arrow will backfire. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That's why God will expect you, according to Psalm 81 and verse 10, he say, open your mouth wide. Let's read that scripture so that you can see something. Psalm 81 from verse 10. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. The next verse. But my people will not hearken to my voice, and Israel will none of me. The next was, so I gave them up to their own heart lost, and they walked in their own cancer. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should have soon, I should soon have subdued their enemies. And turn my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord shall submit themselves unto him. But their time shall not endure forever. Your enemies will not last. So God say, open your mouth so that I can subdue. 
open your mouth and declare. He said, declare now that thou mightest be justified. You want to see victory for your family? You must declare. Whatever you don't want, you don't watch. Anything you don't confront, Papa says is permitted to remain in your family front. But if you contend, I guarantee you this year, your family will experience breakthroughs. Your family will experience open doors. Your family will experience change of story. Whatever is possible with God is possible for your family. It's possible for your family. It's possible that this year, God will change your family meals. Somebody is not saying amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Rise up to your feet. Are you ready to pray? Now, the problem is not prayer. What's yes thou? What are you seeing for your family? What are you seeing for your brothers? What are you seeing for your sisters? Those two sisters, they Lord, she must marry this year. And God did it. Lord, she must give birth this year. Ovulation started ovulating. I don't know what you want to see. It must happen this year. Yeah. Scripture says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. So if you hope for it, you will get it. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Still put the first prayer. Household wickedness of my father and mother's house contending with my glory, I command your destruction by fire. Any household wickedness contending with your family new dawn, you must not survive 2018. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Household wickedness of my father's house, of my mother's house, contending with my glory, contending with my fa family glory, contending with my family new dawn, contending with my family breakthrough. I command your destruction by fire. In the name of Jesus, le katande rusha pabre di zezeni andela. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Your family must see glory this year. Any household wickedness on assignment against your family glory, Lord, by your fire, I decree their destruction. Le paru tanang le rijagando. Zosene gligaro jabarika tozezia le kataranda la barabodo shagadagada. Any household wickedness contending with my family glory, I command destruction upon you by the fire of the Lord. I command your destruction. Lekete prekete ruza nandre diyata. Whatever plan that has been put in place by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be swallowed up. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, be destroyed. Retatia le shonak de los le rakle keteri agadagada. Jesusigo la baraka teli agadagada le papre di ne susoni gadekata. Household wickedness. Leri akatalo shaga la gadagada. Any evil man, evil woman, looking at my family with an evil eye. Looking at my family for their evil plan. Your time is up. I command destruction upon you by fire. Your time is up. I command destruction upon you by fire. Le katopra keketese zizo. Le rakataya tatata. I command your wicked plan to backfire. I command your coven to catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Le ketere do 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 do. I command your wicked desire, wicked expectation, backfire in the name of Jesus. Eranate kusuteto, zekle pebrediata. 2018, my family will experience new dawn. Household wickedness, I command vengeance upon you. La parato nandre dilese. 
Lift up your voice and pray. Your family must break through this year. Your family must experience progress. Your family must experience breakthrough. Le Katorian de la Roche. And Naga Gaga Gaga Liga Zedo Ragada. Agents of household wickedness. Laga Raga Daga 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 Daga. Assigned against my family breakthrough. I command destruction upon you. In the name of Jesus. La redono suze naga daga da E rope ple 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 koto Zero tanade E la ba 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 redodo Zuna de de redododo Shegle barate late Agents of household wickedness I command destruction upon you In the name of Jesus La go do go do go do go Zege le ge de ge re ge de ge de E zala katale kutata Manipulations of household wickedness contending with my family breakthrough. I command vengeance upon you. I command destruction upon you in the name of Jesus. Lariando Lushanote and La Gaga de Gorota by Yagada. Jeglo Peredo Nusa Liga de Brecateleta. Gerata Taleto. Errata Lekoto. Berota nadi aleta elo prepeli gado sibo tuko legate raga laga yaga daga laga daga raga daga yaga da household weakness your programming backfires your programming backfires your programming backfires thank you father. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer 2. Embargoes and limitations of household wickedness over my family catch fire. Catch fire. Whatever they have placed as a limit, begin to command destruction upon them now. Thy gate shall be open continually. That is the instruction. Whatever has been placed as an embargo upon your family, embargo embargo means a bench a barrier a wall that cannot be crossed you are going to lift up your voice embargoes and limitations of household wickedness over my family i command you to catch fire lift up your voice they have vowed no one will prosper they have vowed no one will break through command vengeance upon their plans command vengeance upon their altars embargoes of household wickedness embargoes and limitations of household wickedness over my family i command fire upon you i command the fire of the holy ghost upon you be consumed beyond remedy be consumed beyond remedy Embargoes and limitations of household wickedness against my family be swallowed up by fire in the name of Jesus. Enchantments of household wickedness be consumed by fire. Divinations of household wickedness over my family. Be swallowed up by fire. Whoever is making enchantment, is sponsoring divination, is sponsoring altars, ah, against my family, be swallowed up by fire. In the name of Jesus, be swallowed up by fire. In the name of Jesus, le kratanio zaklope pre, and nikutu esazela. Lego rogo dogo do, raga daga 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 da, shego rogo dogo 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 do, elaga dakre kikoto, shego raga daga daga da, belate nesizo nagre kiketelita, shekura katakale kateriada, ena baba bredi lo suso nikote, 
Rikatarianga daga 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 Leria Catalero Bosa Mande Recotono Brega de Casega Lega de Lagaraga Daga Yaga Daga 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 My family must break through this year. My family must break through this year. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We're going to take the last prayer, prayer three. Any power that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough. I command the vengeance of the blood of Jesus against you. <laughs> I am redeemed not to go back to a cage. My family has been redeemed not to go back to slavery. My family has been redeemed not to go back to suffering. Any power that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough, I command the vengeance of the blood against you. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Any power, witchcraft power, occultic power, marine power that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough. Any power, any evil personality that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough. I command the vengeance of the blood of Jesus against you. I command the vengeance of the blood of Jesus against you. Any power, any evil personality, any witchcraft power, any altar that has been consulted, any evil power, any dark power that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough, I command the vengeance of the blood of Jesus against you. Oh, the blood of Jesus attack every attacker of my family breakthrough. Lampora de Nagre Gigo Duzo Zuya Becatala Talerosh and Naga Gaga Recotedo. Any dark power, any evil personality that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough, I command the vengeance of the blood of Jesus against you. Lekata and Nododore Kutete, I command your arrow. To backfire in the name of Jesus. La Pepro Tonegredo Shada. Resuta Leka. Pei la Garagadagaya. Recotoria. Benake. Lekoto. En Kaka. Esuta Telata. Lego Robo Dogo Dogo Dogo. Lego Robo Dogo 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 Dogo. Household wickedness that has vowed a vow against my family breakthrough. You are a liar. I command the vengeance of the blood of Jesus upon your head now. Lareto Nabagayaga. Ezuretete. Ezuretete. Mekleu Tatale. Jekusia Teata Pelande Reto Engaba Lero Dege Jegolagada Thank you Father In Jesus mighty name we have prayed whoever 
is on assignment against you. You will know with this if I am a son of Oyedepo. Whoever is on assignment against you, delegated against you, on assignment to fight you from seeing blessing, I prophesy on this altar that person will swell up and die. Anyone taking your name to Kofun to shoot arrow at you, to shoot arrow at your family, to shoot arrow at your husband, to shoot arrow at your wife, to shoot arrow at your children, swell up and die! Swell up and die! Wherever they are using monetary mirror, to scatter things in your life. I command by the dagger of Oyeriko. Let vengeance strike upon the person. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever vowed it will not be well with you for 2018. I speak with prophetic authority. That person will not cross January 2018. Any man or woman, write it down if you care. Any man or woman networking with witchcraft, blackmailing you, spoiling you, devouring you, I decree arrows of vengeance descend on them. I release from this altar. The spirits of the emptiers empty your enemies to chaff. Whoever vowed on a daily basis how you will go down, I prophesy by fire. Emptiers empty them. I release the spirits of the emptiers against them. They will be as nothing again. They will be as chaff. If you are saying they may say better amen. Whoever has vowed not to let you go, I command let the angels of God pick them up. Let them be laid to rest in the name of Jesus. If you are saying they may say better amen. Sponsors of information they are using to attack you. Your time is up. I decree madness upon their head. I decree madness upon their head. I decree madness upon their head. From today, they will know what they call the plague of the Lord. It will show in their body. If you are saying them and say better amen. I pray for you. Whatever the enemy has tampered with in your family. I decree restoration in the name of Jesus. 2018. Your family will experience multiple open doors. Multiple open doors for your family. Multiple breakthroughs for your family. From the north. From the south. From the east. From the west. I call forth for help us for your family. By the four winds of the spirits. Let quails of blessing land in your family. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Anyone suspended by witchcraft embargo, let that suspension expire in the name of Jesus. Wherever they take your family's name or family picture to, I decree today 
their invocation is not of any effects. I release your brothers, every member of your family. In the name of Jesus. And by the speaking blood, that speaker better things, in case you came with any picture, bring the pictures out. Bring the pictures out. Leave the pictures up. Whatever represents an evil tide against any member of your family, the spell is broken now. The veil is swallowed up by fire. Your family will go forward. 2018. New dawn testimonies will be recorded. So shall it be. As you partake of this communion, representing your family, the blessings begin to flow. The doors begin to open. The helpers begin to arise. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Just like those two she shall share their testimony. That is how long awaited testimonies will begin to break out for your family. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. As we partake of this communion, open doors for our family. In Jesus' name. You are glorious, yeah.